Let me start with uploading image. This is one of the image of the rare species of the bird. Let's see what Gemini has to say about this. Let me use the microphone. Tell me what I am looking at. Let's see what Google Gemini responds here. Behind the scenes, Google Multimodal AI is taking care of this image. It is using image detection, not only processing it, understanding the image, looking at the image. It is using object detection and finding the information related to the image just the way human understands. And the response that we received is really amazing. The image you sent me shows a male, 12 weird bird of paradise perched on the branch. It is medium sized, brightly colored bird that is found in the low light forest of New Guinea, which is an island in Australia. The male has black head, chest and the upper parts. We get all the details of this rarest bird just by uploading a one single image. Isn't it so cool? Hey everyone and welcome to the future of AI. Today we are diving deep into Google's Gemini, the game changer that understands not just your words, but the world around you. Forget text only AI assistants. Now Gemini is here. Gemini can see, can hear, and understand the whole picture. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Gemini for images, for videos, for research, for math equations, and importantly, Gemini also helps us write, understand, and even find bugs in the code. Whenever we are in trouble writing the code and finding the bugs, Gemini will rescue us. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI, this side Asif Himnad. Imagine a brain on steroids. That's Gemini in a nutshell. It's a multimodal AI, meaning it not only understand text, but images, audio, and even can code like a pro. Think of it as your super powered research assistant and creative partner. And not to forget problem solving guru, everything rolled into one. Gemini comes in three sizes. It has three flavors catering to different needs. Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro and Gemini Nano. Gemini Ultra is the most powerful AI engine particularly used for data centers which will be launched soon. Then we have Pro, the all-rounder ideal for a broad range of tasks across different devices and we are going to see examples on the same Gemini Pro. And then comes the Gemini Nano, small on-device offline AI for mobile applications such as Pixel 8 and above. We already discussed Gemini's capabilities and how it is different than ChatGPT in the last video. So I'm not gonna spend much time here. If you haven't watched that video, please have a look at it. I'll keep the link in the i button above and in the description below. Okay, before we proceed and discuss in detail, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss our latest videos on AI. We see you are watching our videos, but 90% are not yet subscribed. We put a lot of efforts creating these videos for you free. Keep us motivated by liking and subscribing. So YouTube algorithm will also help us reach more audience. So did you subscribe and like? Thank you. So without wasting our time, let's jump into the examples and how to use Gemini. So we're going to use Gemini Pro. To use Gemini Pro, all I'm going to do is open bard.google.com now gemini is embedded into google's part which is google's answer to chat gpt so if you're coming here for the first time you just need to sign in a simple google login is required that is it and let's start with asking google bard itself are you a gemini let's see what it responds and it gives humorous response see i'm able to engage in meaningful conversations and generate text thanks to google ai gemini pro language model trained on massive trove of text and code i have been available in english across most of the world since december 6th 2023 amazing yes so we are using google gemini so this is not something new to us these ai assistants can respond us better with the text now let me start with the image let's see how it works with the image so i'm gonna upload an image of a rear species as we have seen in the start of this video i'm gonna upload an image of the bird and uh, this time i'm not gonna provide a prompt i will use a microphone to ask the question tell me what i am looking at let me hit submit and let's see what it responds this is a really rare species and beautiful image of a bird which you can see and the response says the image you sent me shows a male 12 weird bird is the name of the bird because it has very beautiful 12 neon like feathers 
and you can see the complete detail of this bird even if you don't know what this piece is about it's not only about the bird you can provide any image which you don't understand maybe it can be a weird tree it can be a animal it can be a mammal i don't know you just provide an image and just ask what i'm looking at or what it is please explain so it will give you the bunch of different responses and gemini will give you the amazing responses the response can be modified as you can see here in the drop down i have a three different drafts see this is the draft one if i click on draft two then i have different response the image you sent is 12 weird bird of paradise i see the response is modified and it is rephrased i also have a draft three let's see how it looks like and you can see the image explained in a different way so you can have a look and you can use whichever you like amazing isn't it this Gemini also comes with a really amazing feature says you see I can modify the response I can see this response a uh, more shorter I can see the response in a longer version I can see the formal version I have bunch of different options here shorter longer simple more casual more professional let's see how casual looks like don't you think this is really super cool look at the casual response whoa that's a seriously fancy bird it's a male 12 weird bird of paradise and it's like a rock star of the rainforest with its bright yellow feathers and crazy tail wires and this is how you can modify the responses as per your research and as per your needs amazing right let's see how gemini works with different images i'm gonna upload an image of a data which is basically a sneakers data and i want to get the stats out of it and also understand what this image all about so i'm gonna ask the question again using microphone what is the data about hit submit and let's see what it responds this is the image that we have uploaded basically if you see the image it shows the footwear sales across the world and it also says nike is the leader in the sneaker world let's see what gemini responded us the image you sent me is a bar graph showing the worldwide footwear sales of selected sports brand from 2016 to 2019. The data shows Nike is leading brand. So you can see it has summarized, understood the data. It is not only understanding the simple images, but also the graphs, the stats and uh, helping you write down the complete details of the image. And you see, you can simply say, what is the data about? Provide me in bullet points and you will get the response in the bullets, something like this. You can also change the responses you can also use the different responses draft one draft two or draft three so draft three here you can see response look more organized and detailed interesting isn't it at the end you can also see it is concluding and providing us the summary it's interesting to note that nike has maintained its position at the top selling brand throughout the period shown in the graph whoa this is beautiful amazing isn't it not only this i'm going one step ahead to use this data for my personal use let's say i want to do some study do some research i'm gonna upload the same image and this time i'm gonna ask a different question and let's see how it responds so this is the sneaker image i'm uploading again now this time i want the stats so i'm gonna ask a question show me the stats to export in the excel let's see what do we get so i want the data not in the word format but i want the table so that i can export the data in the excel sheet Let's see what is the response that I get. Oh, ho, ho. wow, this is really cool. I see the data in the table. I see data is displayed. Data is not one dimensional. It is multidimensional. So it is possible for us to export it in the Google Sheet. I can also copy and paste this data into Excel Sheet here. Let me open the Excel Sheet and paste it here. I copied it. Let me paste it here. Amazing, isn't it? I got the data in the Excel sheet offline. Now I can work on the data, I can summarize, I can present, I can do whatever I want with the data. Furthermore, I came across some more features. To export to Sheets, you need to work with the extensions, right? Because Google Sheets will get opened. For that, I need to turn on the extensions, which I can find here. So click on the extensions and make sure you have turned these extensions on. These extensions will help you find, summarize and get quick answers from your email, from documents, to find the hotels, to find the directions, to summarize the YouTube video, so on and so forth. And these are really amazing features. Let's use some of these extensions. But before that, let me show you some more features here. I can also share and export the responses. I have option to share the responses. 
I can share these responses, this prompt and the response, you know, by creating a public link. So others can use this response and also learn about this more. Not only that, I also have an option to draft this response in the Gmail. I just need to click on open Gmail and you will see a mail will be drafted for you automatically. And trust me, these features are going to save my tenfold of time for sure. Now, this is the era of AI and this is the era of smart work. So more early you start using these features, you'll get used to it and you will be ahead of others for sure. As I've said, let me show you some of the extensions. Let's try to use map here. I'm going to ask Gemini again. Tell me, how do I reach Goa from my current location? Let's see what it responds and how different the response is. Basically, Google Gemini is connecting to Google map and Gemini is going to provide me complete detailed directions to the destination. It says the driving distance from Pune to Goa is 461. It takes about nine hours and 50 minutes. You can see the direction provided here from A to B. And you also see some tip here. Isn't it amazing? So I have already started using these features for planning out my next holiday itinerary. Now let me find some hotels in the Goa for New Year's Eve. Show me some hotels in Goa for New Year's Eve. Let's see what is the response that we get. Gemini has a really up hand because it is Google's product. They already have a bunch of different applications. So Gemini is connecting to these different applications, not only maps, to hotels, to documents, to YouTube, to Gmail, and it's giving you the responses. So from the Google hotel, this is the response that we got. It says Hotel Windsor, which is near Kalangut, and it will cost you 2,796 per night. And I can see some more hotels. And do you see some images of the hotels? Isn't it amazing? And trust me, I have already used this feature to plan my next itinerary. Probably in the future video, I'm going to show you how I have planned my itinerary and I have saved thousands of rupees by using Google Gemini. So Gemini come up with many different extension. Let me show you one more quickly. So I have copied the link and now I'm going to ask what is this video about? And I have pasted the link. Let's see what is the response that I get. Amazing. As well as I have provided YouTube link in the back end, AI started connecting to YouTube and uh, now I see I don't want to watch the complete video. I'm working in the late night. I don't want to listen. I just need the summary of this video. And you see how beautifully Gemini has summarized this video for us. So I have created a video a couple of months back to know the path to become the data scientist. What are the steps that we need to follow to become a data scientist? So it has summarized that in the points. So you need to learn the fundamentals like mathematics, programming, statistics, data manipulation, data visualization, machine learning. So a 10 minute video is summarized into short text, which will take only two minutes to read. And for sure, I can regenerate this draft to get the different response. Isn't it amazing? While playing with Google Gemini, I have come across some more options here. I can use dark theme. I really liked this one because generally I like working in the night time. So I use dark theme and you also have your public link. So you can create your own public link and these public links can be shared with your friends, your family and with your followers. Isn't it useful? I think for sure. All right. Now I'm going to ask some really tricky questions. I'm going to upload an image of equation which is really famous equation by Einstein e equal to mc square and I'm gonna ask what is this image about please explain so this image explains how e is equal to mc square explain what is e what is mc what is mc square I really don't know so let's see what is the response that I get and here we go we got the response saying that Unable to understand the image directly, but here is the breakdown of the key terms and the concepts. I see explanation of some of the concepts. Relativistic kinetic energy. This is the energy an object possesses due to its motion and measured in reference frame where the object is moving. So on and so blah, blah, blah. MC square. This term represents the rest of an object, which is energy. It has even when it is at rest. E is equal to MC square. This is a famous equation from Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. Amazing, right? So I haven't mentioned name of the Albert Einstein. I haven't mentioned is it the equation about relativity, but the complete explanation I have got just by uploading this equation. So Google Gemini will surprise you not only for 
generic images but also in learning for mathematical equations. Let me upload one more mathematical equation image here and let's see how it responds. So this is the image of all the world famous equations because of which the world around us is changed and these are some of the most popular mathematical equations but i really don't know what do they mean and how do we use this and what is the meaning of these equations let me show you what these equations looks like you see this wave equation fourier transform there is no explanation to these mathematical terms and the meaning of these different theories and the equations so let's see will gemini explain me this so i'm gonna ask explain these equations hit submit for sure you can provide different prompts here you don't really need to say equations you can just say explain this image whatever you want and you see the responses here we have wave equation was the first equation in the image but no description of this wave image what this equation really means but i can see the description also here describes the propagation of waves such as sound wave light wave fourier transform a mathematical tool that decomposes a function into its constituent frequencies navier stokes equation maxwell equation second law of thermodynamics so on and so forth i have got the information about all the world famous equations in just two minutes and i can easily understand by looking at this simple explanation and the response here if you really don't like this response you can regenerate it as per your need right you see response is in more details wave equation navier strokes equation some bullet points so on and so forth now let me show you one of the most important capability of google's gemini where i really got stunned i'm gonna show you how google gemini will help you understand the code the python code the programming language not only understand but also provide you the output and if there are any mistakes in the code if there are any bugs in the code will it help me understand that so i'm just gonna copy and paste a simple code and you probably aware about this code which is a very famous code in any interviews or in any internship programs or in the aptitudes which ask to print the pyramid star pattern this is the python code basically so i just copy pasted this code here in the prompt and let's see what is the response that i get I'll just hit submit amazing do you see this here is the pyramid star pattern generated by the python code that we provided right no need of interpreter no need of code no need of ide i can also see the explanation of the code setting the number of rows how many rows you want five rows pyramid of stars outer loop inner loop why this loop is important so on and so forth let's see if i make any changes here intentionally to get the bad results let's say i use i minus one let me hit update i don't know what is the response i'm gonna get will it help me write better code let's see that i really didn't know this is the response i'm gonna get i can also see the code here beautiful let me make one more change i want to get i need some problem in the code i need a bug in the code let's see if it help me improvise the code let me make the changes and ask a different question here probably i'll just make a small mistake here maybe i'll just put it row minus i and let's say i put this as j again and i ask what's wrong with this code beautiful i also got what is the problem with the code okay so indentation issue that i got indentation is not properly used for the loops and also the correct code is given here for you what do you think isn't it super cool I can really show you tons of examples like this but because of time limitations I have to stop here people don't really prefer watching longer videos otherwise I can just keep recording this video for hours and hours anyways whatever I have shown is just a start in the AI world and we know that this is first version of Google's AI Gemini which is answer to chat GPT 4 and I think yes it is better than chat GPT 4 in terms of certain aspects when it comes to images videos and audio and there are tons of different options that we have i can draft the response in the gmail i can share the response publicly i can have formal shorter longer different responses so on and so forth and i'm really surprised by looking at the responses from google gemini all right that's how we come to an end of this video if you have any questions regarding the same let us know in the comment below if you think that you need more advanced examples for research for coding i don't know whatever purpose you want just comment down below i'll try to create a video for you if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and the colleagues thanks for watching see you again next time till then take care and bye bye